Many of us know because we can't find it in the stores, the rush to stockpile hand sanitizer has caused a national shortage. CBS 2's Audrina Begas is live from her home this morning. Audrina, hello. There's another local distillery, though, making hand sanitizer and getting, into the, getting that into the hands of the people who really need it. Good morning, Aaron. Yes, and they're doing this pretty quickly. In one day last week, they were able to give out 1,000 hand sanitizers to first responders in our area. They also want to get this to healthcare workers. They want to get it to public works officials, and they also want to get it to any employees working in essential businesses that need to continue to operate right now. So I want to give you a look inside of this distillery in Mount Prospect. Again, this is Two Eagles, and what they're making is almost pure alcohol, 80% by volume, and the recipe is FDA approved. Now, it's a long process. Fermentation takes 10 days, then the yeast for 7 to 10 days, then stripping it for alcohol. Now, they're working around the clock on shifts so they can continue to practice is social distancing. Right now, they're packaging the sanitizer in four ounce bottles. It's so small because their facility can only make 40 gallons a week, but now they'll be able to make four to five times that because they're partnering with 1090 Brewing in Glenview, and another company has reached out to offer extra trucks to get supplies out. Hectic and busy. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of requests. Every day we get emails, uh, people, hospitals, nursing homes, uh, companies, police departments, fire departments, everybody. We were able to get all of them first last week, put a, try to put a bottle in the hand of every first responder. Um, we then uh, started reaching out to other businesses that we kind of knew would be needed. So there is such a big demand right now. We know we cannot find hand sanitizer at the store, so they're making this quickly. The problem is they still need more materials and more money to keep this going. They started a GoFundMe page. I just checked, there's more than $19,000 raised so far. We've put a link to the page on CBSChicago.com.